Friends, another quick stock market update. Going to be real quick, maybe a minute or less here. We didn't get that gap fill. I cannot believe this. No boy, look at that. Sorry, oh, there's a terrible line again. Got the terrible line. See, we just did not get there. Still there. So I'm going to go and hold it now. It's getting risky because now it's, just, it's dragging out, but we'll be okay. Risk in a sense, it's, yeah, we can move on to better things. I'm just going to hold on to that because hopefully tomorrow it'll gap up. So hopefully like overnight, it'll pop up here and then fill the gap down. So you mean it'll start trading here. So watch that overnight. And then it'll fill that gap coming down and then sell it, then sell it because uh, once it hits that gap, fill down. Okay. So that's when we look for that. So or tomorrow we have to wait to see if it comes up and fills that gap. Okay. TZ. Yes, I'm still holding. Almost sold out. I, I couldn't decide. And, uh, you know, so overall, like I said, it was hedge. It had like, uh, let's say it had uh, about a 2% gain today. It had a 4% run up on boil compared to the 2% uh, loss on TZA. So it's okay. So it's a 2% gain, so it still made profits. Oop. So, you know, like I said, it's using a hedge. Now here at TZA. TZA is frustrating as well. Um, now it's saying, oh, it must have been after hours because now it's saying, well, no, it's 1.98%. Yeah, so it's still okay right here. Yeah, TZA is still there. Um, I like the candle that we just had. It's not a great candle, but uh, volume is the average. TZA is, you know, you don't want to use those three times you have too much of the volume. Okay, still like to get that gap fill. Where's that gap fill? So close to, look at this, you know. You remember there's decay with these, so so close. Still got to go there, right? But I do like this W pattern we got. You remember I told you it's the inverse of the, uh, of the, uh, the IWM, the still has the M pattern. I'm not going to bring that again because now we got a W pattern, which is the wind pattern, right? Right, so we got that. So I'm hoping it fills that gap and to complete that W pattern still in play. Pull back a little bit, and then I said, like, the, and well, okay, here's the, no, wait, let me take that off for a minute because the thing is going to be careful, like, sick of the Santa Claus rally. So you want to get out here anyway because it'll pull back even if it's going to be a run. And that pullback could end up being a broken uh, W pattern, uh, you know. When they try to do the Santa Claus rally, so we, it, it depends how long it's sitting out here, right? So that's where we got to be really careful, right? That's what I'm telling you right now. They be, they're going to have to shove this down uh, very soon if they're going to get the Santa Claus rally. So I think it might pop up here a little bit, real quick, and then like so come back down and then fill out Santa Claus rally. VIX is looking good though for the setup for the uh, short side. Um, it has not moved much. Let's do VIX real quick. VIX. You know, oh my gosh, put little dots on there. VIX is really key. So we, we've already gone through that many times. Anything you check every day, make sure you check the VIX. VIX, not much move. You know, not much new on the downside. So VIX has got, let's see, let's pull this back. i squash it like this. I still like the VIX setup here. It looks very good. Very healthy for, uh, for, a, um, you know, for a bear market run, right? And like I said, we got the crossover still right there. Crossover, and guess what? It's got a very steep. It's it's coming out steep, which means that that's even uh, more positive for the bears. If it start if it starts going flat like this, then it doesn't complete that crossover. The crossover is perfect. And look at this, bam, bam, and bam. It's 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 heading right. So like I said, I think this VIX we should be around 25 area before that thing pulls back again, right? I think it's pretty much going to be there at 25. Let's see, where, what was our last crossover? Let's take a quick look on the MACD. MACD last crossover was right here. And see how it got really steep. So that had that steep run. So it really, and then did a pullback and then just kept going up, right? And then, uh, see, I'm trying to see, show you, see if one that has a, a short term heap. See, all those, see, it's, it's crossed over. It's looking good. And it's looking to so see you can hear this. You got the cross over there, and we get this, and then whoop, there you go. It's taken off. So, if you're bold, this market, you know, I mean, I care what they're saying, you get you, you're, you're playing with fire. You know, you really, like I said, stay in cash or something else. There's where that that's going to find where I try to flatten out on you a little bit. That's interesting because when it tries to flatten like that, sometimes it'll the market will start rolling flat like this. We went ahead and finished the, the roll of it, right? And you, this warning sign to get out was right there. Where it crossed over again the purple through the uh through the orange line there that's when you had to get out right and then we had to cross over on the downside here right here and that one was almost too late because if you bought in here you were done you know what i mean so that one was a dangerous thing so you know if you got in here you were okay on there so you would have bought you would have bought in you would have gone short here 
there is actually the only way. I'm just showing you show that spot there. And then you would have got along here. So we'd have rode this down. So even if you would have played the difference between the crossovers, you would have had that gain there, right? And you would have held this one all the way up until that spot right there. Oh, sorry, the two right there. And then you would have then you would have gotten rid of the VIX instead of markets going up. So we've got this playing field here and a playing field there. So that's what I'm saying. You can play those fields. It's nothing different, it's just like football or anything else, right? And yeah, same thing, same thing, else in the VIX. There again, we had the crossover kind of like we're in right here. This is the one I was going to show you. That's see, this is the one an example. See how it kind of it kind of wand, meanders a little bit. It doesn't hit it hard. It just kind of meanders to the side there. That one's where that's when you get kind of this delayed reaction and boop. Then it takes off, right? And also, the steeper she climbs, the quicker she's going to fall. So also remember that. See when you get those really high ramps like that. See how it comes back real quick. So be careful with those, right? Be careful when it see like even there is a big ramp straight. It's coming up. That ramp is just like taking a roller coaster ride, and bam! See, so you want more of a rounded. Um, you want more of a rounded thing, like this one here, where it's slowly kind of coming at a 45 degree angle, and that gives you time to maneuver and things like that. So, let's take a look at what, what kind of angle we're looking at here. It's pretty steep, though. See, that's why you be careful. As it's coming up pretty steep, so it, for if you're bare, it's, it'd almost be better to slightly pull back a little bit. Like I said, you know what I mean. We got that W pattern playing for it. See, it's trying to form this W. So, you know, kind of meander up here and get this W complete versus a straight shot up and then it's going to come back down. Either way, it doesn't matter though. You know, it doesn't matter. It's just the time how quick that maneuvers. All right. Oh, the best, I'll give you a real quick. The best play I wanted to do, darn it. And I can't see if I'm in a ticker of that sucker. It's new to me. It's called, um, oh, Oil You. I know, right? Oil You. Oil You good. All right. Oil You is one that I think is. I was going to reposition on this thing today. I was going to get rid of the TZA, but then I would have been overloading the commodities. Like I said, that would have been a little bit, that would, that's too dangerous, right? But uh, I thought about unloading the TZA and repositioning this thing, so I'll show you why. Look how many candles down us. This is uh, a micro sector for gas and oil exploration. I, I wish they just had a straight three times ETF oil, but that's, it just, that's a hard one, right? The, the, I think the max is two. Uh, some of them have like three, but it always has this one's times two the opposite, op, uh, times two the long side. But the problem with it is it has uh, gas and oil expiration issues. Well, then again, right? So here we're looking at this. You got one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's got about two more bars before it's going to go back up. Oh, and see, that's the, 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 the told you the bottoming candle here. This this is a perfect play. I almost did after hours. Look at you got that bottoming, you, it low day close. That means, see that 48.35? You can probably get that tomorrow. Easy, easy 48.35, right? That is, so you can actually take a position on that guy right there and, and, and been okay. Because even if it comes down a little bit, you're gonna see that price again. Trust me, you're gonna see 48.35. Even if it comes, if it opens up tomorrow down here, but see that's the thing is if it opens up here, then you've already in the green, you've already made your money, you sell it. But if it opens up down here, you're gonna see 48.35. That gap is gonna sit there. See, there was a gap fill over there even. You just saw this and see the gap between those two. All right, what's interesting about this one, I haven't tracked this much. Look at the volume, boy, they, they washed some people out right here. Look at this volume stick right there, boom. See that? I told you a doji, it'll start here, come down and do a hammer and come back up. That's exactly what it is, that's a doji. Now that's when you want to actually take a short-term scalp. The unfortunate about that one is a very short-lived, look at this. You had one, two days and then it popped down and kept screwing around with it, right? So that's something, to, if, a, if a trade gets worn out, if you don't see much movement after a while, like that one, two, three, four, five, six, where you're not moving, then you better you, you better get ready for that one, right? You better get ready for that stick. It's, you know what I mean? Because the longer it delays, the longer it's gonna be sitting there like that, okay? Let's take a look how that's playing out right now. Um, well, we have the drop off, so you know, as long as it doesn't come down here too long, you better start climbing back up. Two or three more days, you know, because then it's probably gonna go here to the, that 60, what is that, the 50 day moving average? Yeah, it's gonna go up there and hit that 50 probably. I should add the 20. 20 is just going to be somewhere in between the two, right? Somewhere in there. I mean, you can do it mentally. You don't have to have the exact. So it's going to be in between there. So the 50 is going to be smacked out. The 100 is, oh, wait, no, that's actually the 100. Sorry. Purple is 100. Is that the 100? Let's see. Let's clear that off. Yeah, it's 100. Sorry, I was wrong. There's the 100. There's the, where's the 50? 50 is there. Okay, so it's in between the two. 
So 20 is going to be actually up higher. Uh, see, there's the 10. So 20 is probably going to be somewhere in... It's sloping down to 10, so it's probably going to be actually delayed to the 2 around here between the 10, the, you know, like somewhere in there between the 50. So it's probably floating around the 20 right now, actually. I can go ahead and change this. Oops. You can change that one. Let's see. Let's see that. Let's change the 20 just to see, because the, the reason I'm bringing that up is you got to be careful. If they're smacking the 20, and uh, then you got to be careful because they're using it as a resistance on the, on the move up. Let's see, 20 is now there. Let's see here. Now, I have to move over to move it. So, the 20, where's that sucker at? It's the purple. It's a way up there. Why is it up there? Anyway, well, I guess it's wrong. I thought it'd be between the two. It's in right there. So, you can't even hit it there. It back, hit, smacked it, and they bounced down off it. So, I guess it's wrong. I thought it'd be between the 20. But anyway, it depends. I don't know. God, so funny. So 20, so, you know, the first move is going to have to be the 50. And then then from there, you might get the get the, get the uh, 20 again, right? It'll probably happen. Let's see how, let's see how much they play the 20 in this one. And there's 20 there. Like I said, these, these AAA tests, you're better off using something, like, uh, something that's closer to it on the index space. Okay, hey, that's it. That's the trades. I'm still holding the uh, uh, half and half on TZ and half uh, my portfolio on the boil. All right, take care. Go.